I'm Janine, and today we're going to do a yoga wind down. This routine is going to be great for after a long day of work, a long day of travel, or really any time you're just feeling maybe a little bit frazzled, feel like you need to calm down, relax, and stretch out some tight muscles. If you're on our YouTube channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then click the bell so that you get notified anytime we post an awesome new video just like this one we're going to do now. All right, so let's get started. We'll start, I'm gonna turn just slightly so you can see me a little bit better. Take your feet about hip distance wide. Take a second and spread your toes out, especially if your feet have been in shoes all day. Soften your knees a little bit. When I say soften, I mean bend. Place one hand on your low belly. I'm gonna do my right, and then your left hand can go on your low back and just give a little pull up on the front hand and a little press down on that back hand. So we just wanna make sure our tailbone isn't flying up to the ceiling and bring a little bit of neutrality. Now let the arms just fall next to the sides of the body and take a nice inhale, push down through the feet, shrug your shoulders up. And as you exhale, let it drop, softening the knees. And we'll repeat that. Inhale, shrug your shoulders up. And exhale, dropping those down. One more of those. Inhale, shrug your shoulders up. And exhale, drop the shoulders, soften the knees, and circle the shoulders forward, up, and back. Circle the shoulders forward, up, and back. And now go the other way. Circle it back, forward, and up. And back, forward, and up. Now just take the right shoulder, and I'm your mirror, so you can just mirror me. And then the left shoulder. And now hand to shoulder and circle your elbow like you're doing backstroke and hand to shoulder, circle the elbow. One more that direction, the right elbow, you can even follow it with your eyes. Left elbow, and now reverse it, back to front, both shoulders. Nice big breaths. Right shoulder goes back to front, left shoulder goes back to front. Hand to shoulder, elbow goes back to front. And now do these to where your arm can go, so you don't need to look like me. You move your arm to where you can go without disturbing your shoulder, or you maybe have to make a little bit wider circle. Release the arms, take a nice inhale, push down through the feet, bring the arms up. Again, if this is too much for your shoulders up next to your ears, just let them be forwards or in front. Give a little squeeze of the hands, push down with the feet and take a nice stretch up. And as you exhale, pull your shoulders down away from your ears. Squeeze your booty as you extend your legs and reach up and over to the left. Take a nice big breath there, lifting up through your belly, not just dumping side, but lifting up. Inhale to the top and exhale, circle those arms out, back and down. As you come forward, interlace with the opposite clasp. Bring those arms up to where they can go for you. Push down through your feet. Squeeze your booty a little bit to bring that pelvis into a neutral alignment, and then we'll take it up and over to the right side. Nice big stretch, nice big inhale, and as you exhale, easy shoulders. Inhale to the top, exhale as the arms come apart now, we're gonna bend our knees, stick our rear end back, and fold over our legs. Version one would be put your forearms on your thighs, so if it feels like it's a little bit too much Intensity through the low back or the hamstrings come into what we call a football huddle. And if not, let your belly rest on your thighs and just begin to extend your legs so you feel some stretching up this backside. It can be anywhere along the hamstrings, the calves, you might feel it in the low back a little bit. And then take an inhale and lessen the stretch by bending your knees. And I'm leaning back into my heels. And then push down through the feet and move into the stretch a little bit more. And then take that again, breathing in, bend the knees, stick the rear end back, and breathing out, push down through the feet. Now you don't have to straighten the legs and round up, but I actually would advise against it. Go where you can with your belly on your thighs. Take it one more time. And lean back into the heels, lowering the rear end, and then extending the legs. Let your head go, maybe give it a shake out, your shoulders a shake out. Again, nice big breaths, and now you're gonna to start to move your hands and feet away from each other. Now, if you're on the floor or a carpet, that's fine, you might be on a yoga mat. If you're on a yoga mat, you wanna take up most of the mat here from front to back. Spread your toes out, this is downward dog. 
and root down through your palms. Bend one knee, press the heel up, and then extend the other leg and spread your toes, and then switch, go the other way. And take that a couple of times, moving with your breathing pattern, spreading your toes. You might feel some stretching through the soles of your feet or the back of the calves. And then we're going to raise both heels up and gently lower our knees down to the mat or the floor. Point your toes back. Move your rear end towards your heels. Come to child's pose. Now, your rear end might not touch your heels. That's fine. Go to where you can. Keep the palms rooted and the arms straight if possible. If it bothers your shoulders or neck, just walk your hands out to a little wider V so you can draw the shoulders back. We're going to sweep our left arm out to the left. And then just relax that shoulder and take a moment there, swaying your hips, relaxing your jaw. And we're going to sweep our right arm to our left. And now if it can't quite make it over there, just go as far as you can with the right and then bring the left thumb to meet the right. Press your hips off to the right. You're going to probably feel a big stretch to that right side anywhere from the hip towards your underarm. As you breathe in, push down through your palms. And feel your chest trying to wiggle out to your thumbs. And then as you exhale, walk that back to center. Inhale is going to bring you up onto all fours, what we call a tabletop. Take a second there, sway the hips and spread your palms. And then shift your rear end back to your heels to that child's pose position. Sweep the right arm to the right 90 degrees. Let that shoulder relax. Sway the hips a little bit. Rooting through both palms. Nice, long, deep breath. We sweep our left hand to our right. If it can make it all the way over there, it will. Otherwise, just move with the left arm as far as it will go. And then bring the right thumb to touch it. Again, this time we're going to press our hips to the left to accentuate the stretch from that left side all the way out towards the fingertips. Our chest is trying to reach towards our thumbs as our hips move in the opposite direction. On your next inhale, we'll walk that back to center. Sway the hips a little side to side. And the next time that the hips sway to the left, you'll go left and come forward over the left hand, shift over the right hand, swing the hips right and circle back. So you're gonna be making a nice big circle with your body. Keep breathing here. Spreading the palms and keeping the breath flowing. And the rest of it, you can move as big as you like. This is just taking time to replenish our joints, all the big joints. And begin to stretch out some of the big muscle groups. And then we'll just reverse it. Swing the hips to the right first. And if you were opposite of me, that's fine. Just swing and go in the opposite direction. You can let your head be involved here. You can let the ribs round side or up to the ceiling. But again, big breaths, nice wide palms on the floor. Take this time to move into any sticky spots from your day. And this time we'll come back to child's pose and relax here. Before inhaling up to a tabletop position, now we'll be your mirror again. So we're going to turn a little bit here so you can see. Take your right foot, slide it back like you're doing a plank. Bring your left knee to your left wrist and then pivot that heel across your body towards the opposite hip. We call this position pigeon. And then we're gonna slide our back leg back and point the toes. Now, if your hips aren't as low as mine, that's fine. Your hips might be up here. Go to where you can, that's fine. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna push down through this front shin and the pinky toe side of the foot, like it was a foot in a lunge and then push the top of the back foot into the floor and firm up that thigh. Now we'll use our hands pressing down to help us rise our chest up and open up through the collarbones. You might be able to walk your hands a little bit closer to your body, reaching up through your face, and then exhale, we reverse that. We walk the hands forward, lower the forearms down, chin falls to throat, and rocking the hips gently left and right. Breathing here. Now, if this bothers your knee at all, just lean all the way into your left hip and that thigh, and you can stay over there. That should take the pressure out of the knee. 
If it continues to bother you, lean off to that side a little bit more and take the pressure off the knee. If you're okay to rock side to side, rocking side to side. From here, we're gonna press down through our palms, easy shoulders as we rise our forearms up. We'll lean off to the left and swing the right leg all the way around. And again, I'm gonna turn so you have a good view. Right foot comes to the outside line of the left leg. And if this bent leg doesn't work for you, you can always stick it out straight, okay? So you'll do the whole thing with that bottom leg straight. If you're all right here, we wrap the left arm around the right leg and clasp on with the opposite hand. Now we're gonna push down with this right foot and push our leg into our arm and use our arm to kind of block the leg. So you're making a little bit of a lock. You'll find how you can use that arm into leg, leg into arm to give you some leverage to climb up tall through your spine, reaching through the crown of the head. If you're okay there, you can lean into that right hip and try and lower your booty towards the floor. It may or may not touch. And then again, we breathe in, pushing down with that foot on the floor, leg in pushes into arm, arm into leg to rise up tall. That's where we inhale and exhale. Then we can turn and rotate off to the right. If you're okay there, you can put the right hand behind you, fingers pointing right, and I press that into the floor to also help me to rise up tall. So we wanna extend our spine and then turning through our middle, and on the next exhale, unwind that, come back around to the front. Either cross that leg up towards the hip, or if that doesn't work for you, cross it in front. And then from here, we'll simply take our left arm out to the left, reach our right arm up, take a big inhale, try and make your spine as tall, and sit up as tall as you can, and then exhale, arm towards cheekbone, and then if you're okay there, bend that bottom elbow and tip a little further side. Now I'm trying to keep this right side of my rear end on the floor as much as possible because when I bring it up, I start to lose that stretch. So you can push with the other hand down and away from the left to help you get a bigger stretch. And big inhales here. As you exhale, easy shoulders. Inhaling to the top, we come up. We relax the shoulders, turn the fingers forwards towards me, put the palms on the floor and push down and out with the hands to rise your chest up. As you push down and out with the hands, your chest will lift up. Exhale, bring us back to center. We lean off to the left if you're cross like me, and we open the right leg, open the left leg, flex the feet, pull a little with your heels and your knees can bend and we sit up tall. One more breath there. Exhale, we'll fold the right leg in, lean to that right knee, and now we're gonna swing the left leg around, and I'm just gonna turn a little, and you're gonna be in pigeon on the second side. So we just went into that a little different. Again, we're gonna push down with the back foot, firm up the thigh, push down with your front shin, and then our hands pull towards our body to help us rise our chest up. Again, you can have your hands farther out if you need, or if them in closer. Not throwing your head back, but like you have a plunger on your face reaching up. Exhale, we lean forward, lower the forearms to the mat or the floor. Rock the hips gently side to side. Breathe in here. Again, if you feel this in your right knee, lean all the way into your booty and hang over the leg. You can skip the rocking part. You'll probably feel a stretch through your hip or your leg. That's all fine, you just don't wanna feel it in the knee. If you're okay, you can rock over to the left hip, that's the back leg's hip, and then off to the right leg, taking nice, long, deep breaths. We bring it back to center, relax our shoulders, push down through the palms, forearms raise up, lean right, swing the left leg, and I'm gonna pivot again all the way across, Outside of the leg, again, this bottom leg can be straight. If that doesn't work for you to bend it, that's fine. We wrap the right arm across, left hand grabs on, push down through this leg foot that you're holding onto the leg, push the leg into the arm and the arm hooks on the leg to help us sit up tall. 
Exhale, we lean into that left hip to try and bring it to the floor. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You can keep working on it. Then again, leg into arm, arm into leg. As you exhale, that's where we turn, belly, ribs, and chest. You can take the left hand, bring it behind, but still keep working arm into leg, leg into arm, because again, we want to extend our spine before we start to rotate. So we're not just jamming ourselves around, but creating length and space, and exhale, we unwind, either cross the leg in front or bring it up top. Right arm reaches right, left arm raises up. Take a second. You can pull with your feet a little to help you sit up taller, and then exhale, arm to ear, and then we continue to reach over if you have that available to you. The stretch feels like it's too intense. Come up a little on the inhale, and as you exhale, go a little further. Listening for your breath, not shoving yourself into the position, but relaxing to let that opening happen. Inhale brings us to the top. We exhale and let the arm fall. Lean to the right to unwind your left leg. Unwind your right leg. Again, pull with your heels. Your knees can be bent here. If you feel pulled back here, pull with those heels, bend the knees, sit up nice and tall. And again, push down with the palms. Open the collarbones by pushing down and out with the hands. And like you have a plunger, pulling your face up, getting tall. Exhale to neutral. We bring the legs towards one another. Scoot your rear end forwards, grab onto your hamstrings and roll yourself all the way down onto your back. Take a moment there. Relax in your back into the mat. Sweep your arms out to a V shape like you're doing the Y of the YMCA song. Push down through your feet, squeeze your booty and drive your hips up. So I'm really pushing down with my feet and making sure to engage my rear end. You can even touch it if you're not sure if it's working. If you've got it, you can reach those fingers out so you're reaching your knees forward and fingers towards your back wall. Then as you exhale, we lower down one vertebra at a time. Fold one knee and the other into the chest. We'll keep the knees together and circle the knees in one direction. This will roll you around your low back and the back of your pelvis. Nice big breaths, reverse the circles. More important than anything, not feeling like you have to move fast and rush through it. Nice big breaths, last hug into the knees, then drop the feet to the floor. Slip the legs out. If that's not comfortable for your back, you can leave the knees bent and let them fall together. If you're okay to let them slide out, let them slide out. You can let your eyes close and take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, just letting yourself feel like you're going to melt into your mat or the floor. And giving yourself a couple of breaths here. Bring your attention now to your breathing pattern. Following your inhale, noticing where it expands through your body. And then following that exhale, it might have a sense of falling or things becoming a little more weighted. Following that. Expansion on the inhale. And that sense of release, relaxation giving into gravity on the exhale. Your mind may wander, that's fine. Just keep bringing it back to the breath. And you can continue to stay here and follow your breath for as long as you like. When you are ready, just drag one heel towards the rear till the foot finds the floor. Do the same thing with the other leg. I suggest taking a moment here as the weight shifts on your back to let everything go before sweeping one arm out to the side and a little up so you can roll to that side and then push down with the top hand to work yourself up. And now you're ready to go on with the rest of your evening. Maybe you can put on your jammies and get a cup of tea or just going on with the rest of your day. Again, I'm Janine. 
If you're here with us on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell so that you can get notified whenever we do another awesome video like this. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.